quadrilateral hierarchy. All right, and so we talked about this in the last video. Hierarchy is a way to show relationships, to compare relationships, how we organize things or rank things. Like in the army, for example, let's say we have this picture of enlisted men. This may be hard to see, but we have the privates. They're the lowest rank at, for enlisted men, not officers. And the highest, we have the sergeant of the ma sergeant major, sergeant major of the army. So the sergeant major is the highest rank of enlisted men. So we have this hierarchy going from here to there. We have a hierarchy. And with officers, we have the general is the highest rank and then in the army and second lieutenant. So there's this hierarchy. So we can do that also with math. So we'll talk about the parallelograms. Remember, we said a parallelogram could be a parallelogram. It could be a rectangle. It could be a rhombus. It could be a square. So there's a hierarchy there. And with the quadrilaterals, let's look at this for the quadrilaterals. With quadrilaterals on top here, we have quadrilaterals. Remember, quadrilaterals have four sides. So we have this set here. This is the parallelogram set, which includes the rhombi, that's plural for rhombus, and the squares and the rectangles. And then we have these other, another set here. This is the trapezoid set and the kite set. And we talked about in the last video that sometimes a kite could be a rhombus or sometimes a kite could be a square. So we'll just talk about the hierarchy dealing with parallelograms. Okay, so here is our parallelogram. And let's remember what the parallelogram that it has two pairs of parallel sides. Two pairs of parallel sides. And the angles opposite each other are congruent. And remember, congruent means equal. So here we have, this is 70 degrees, degree symbol. So opposite of it is 70 degrees. And we have 110 here and 110 here. And all this together equals 360 degrees. So the parallelogram is on the top of our hierarchy, the parallelogram. Then we have a rectangle. Now, a rectangle has two pair of parallel sides, just like the rhombus, right? Now, it also has, if you look at the angles opposite, they're congruent. In this case, they're all the same in a rectangle. But a rectangle satisfies the same requirements of a parallelogram, two pair of parallel sides and congruent angles opposite each other just like a parallelogram so a rectangle is a parallelogram a parallelogram is not a rectangle though it's kind of confusing but you can say if I gave you a quiz that a rectangle is a parallelogram okay now let's look at a rhombus So a rhombus satisfies the same requirements for a parallel parallelogram. Opposite angles, diagonally, are congruent. And you do have two pair of parallel sides. In the case of the rhombus, they're all equal, except for the angles. So a rhombus is a parallelogram. A rhombus can also be a kite. I mean, that could be a kite. But it's actually... We call it a kite if we're using it as a kite, but the shape itself is just a rhombus. Now, unless we talked before, sometimes a kite looks like this, where you have different measurements. Now, that's a kite or a deltoid, but sometimes a kite could be like that, like a rhombus. So again, a rhombus is a parallelogram. A rectangle is a par parallelogram, and a square is a parallelogram. A square has 90 degree angles, but of course it satisfies the requirements. The degrees opposite of, of each other are the same, they're congruent, and it has two pairs of parallel sides. So a square is a parallelogram. A rhombus is a parallelogram and a rectangle is a parallelogram. So that's why parallelograms are those types we just named. 
Okay, let's see if we understand this now. We'll go over this. We have a parallelogram on the top of the hierarchy. And then we have our rhombi, we have a rectangle, and the lonely square at the end. So, a square is a rectangle, a square is a rhombus, and a square is a parallelogram. So, all squares are parallelograms, but not all parallelograms are squares. So let me say that one more time so you understand this. All squares are parallelograms, but not all the parallelograms are squares, because a rectangle is on top. See, if you look at the hierarchy, on top is the rectangle, so it's not a square, but a square is a rectangle. So you go from the bottom up. Again, all squares are parallelograms, but not every parallelogram is a square. So a rhombus, look at a rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram, but a rhombus is not a square, but a square is a rhombus. So that just gets, uh, gets some taking used to. You know, and you'll get used to that anyway as we keep going on. So again, if I gave you a quiz question, you can say that a square is a parallelogram, and you can say that a rectangle is a parallelogram, but you can't say that all parallelograms are squares. Okay, keep that in mind. Great job.